All right, welcome back to Potion Permit. Uh, I think where we left off last time, we had started the romance, and that's going. I don't really remember what else we were doing. I think we're pretty close to um, getting every villager to rank two relationship-wise, like doing their, their second relationship quest. And I think some of them we've done their third, like some of the romanceable characters. So... We're making our way, making our way. Well, this load screen is up. I'm going to turn on my fan. And then, of course, the load screen is gone. That's how my life goes. It was supposed to be, like, cool today. It's not. It's not. All right. Right, we got an upgraded sickle. Hi, Meyer. Hello, Freya. A nester should be arriving soon? Okay. Let's meet him at the station. Sounds a little quiet. Let me turn this up. I can never remember which games I have at which audio setting. I switch back and forth between two. Welcome. Meyer, Freya, nice to meet you. Uh, since you're already here, shall we begin? Like, what are we doing? Hold it right there. Meyer, how could you? I know what you're planning. Don't you think this is a bit unfair after everything Freya has done for this town? Oh, this is for the romance. I was gonna say, why in the heck is Nestor here? Mateo, I think it'd be best for Freya to have a change of scenery. You can't do that, Meyer. We already accept Freya as one of us. <laughs> He's gonna fight the mayor. Freya must stay with us in Moonbury. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but I think you're making a mistake. I'm not talking to you, doctor. This is our business, not yours. Freya isn't going anywhere. You silly sausage. Silly sausage. We're not asking Freya to leave Moonbury. What? Distress. We want to relocate Freya to a new house here in Moonbury. I knew you would refuse. Luxury can't beat the feeling you get from being at home, right? No, it'd just be super inconvenient to not live right next door to my clinic. Are you sure about that? Well, if that's your decision, you're just as humble as I remember. Nestor and I still have other things to discuss. Are you coming, Freya? No, I have some things to talk to Mateo about. See you later, then. We've got some things to work through. That's embarrassing. I heard your discussion with Meyer in the tavern about the plans for your relocation. It was silly of me. I should have asked you about it instead of making my own assumptions. But I don't know how to, how to after what happened between us. I mean, your moon brooch. You know what I mean. The reason I couldn't accept your feelings that day is because I'm a coward. I was afraid that everything would change between you and me. I don't want to imagine that something might go wrong and we might end up hating each other. That's just life, baby. But my assumption about you leaving made me realize. 
the thought of never seeing you again is more terrifying than the idea of hating each other. That's just how relationships go, though. Just gotta take the plunge. It feel like I was losing something precious. Oh, he's blushing, though. This may end up being a silly mistake. But it makes me think of you in a different way. I regret that day. I should have accepted your feeling, feelings, that there should be an S there, and been more honest with myself. So I've decided to give you this now. Are you also giving me a moon brooch? Reciprocity? Would you please accept this moon brooch from me? You know what it means, and I mean it. Thank you, Freya. I promise that I'll try my best to be good to you from now on. Okay, dating unlocked. Oh, we can, we can date now. <laughs> How do you date? Oh, dating. Once you've reached a certain friendship level with a person, you can confess your feelings toward them using a special gift. You can buy this special gift from the Silky Stitch Tailors. Okay, so back up a sec. Should they not give you this tutorial before you've purchased the brooch? Otherwise, why are you telling me I can purchase the brooch from Silky Stitch Tailors? I've gotten that. I That's how I got here. Once you've confessed your love, you can start hanging out with that person. All right. We can hang out with Mateo. Is this just a ditch? Interesting. Okay, what are we doing today? Uh, Leano's story. We should probably actually do that. What day? Just not Monday. Got it. Um, Dan's story. This starts at 9 a.m. To Freya, I hope you can do me another favor and check on Garrett once more. Please visit us at the farmhouse. Okay, so all of these things are like morning things. So we should take care of all of those before we go out and start doing things. Okay. Let's just slowly walk. Hi, Kips. Hi. Meow. Meow? Meow. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm not giving you the moon flows. Although I don't need to save them anymore. So there's that. Hey, Zeke, what's up? I'll talk to you. It's a fine day and the air is fresh. What more can you ask for? You need to enjoy life to the fullest, Freya. You sure do. Okay, um, we need to upgrade our hammer today as well. Is there anyone up here? I can't do anything until 9 a.m. anyway, so we should just kill time. Is there nothing even for my dog to dig up? Oh no, there it is, right here. Go for it, doggo. Thank you for the worm. I should buy more, um, fishing things, maybe. Okay, Victor's not outside yet. Fair enough, it's 8 a.m. Hi, Cecilia. I will pray for your well-being, Freya. The gods are faithful, and they will strengthen you and protect you from evil. Hello, Lara. Freya, how are you? I've read lots of interesting books lately. Luck has so many books, he has loaned me some. Okay, doing the um, broken vase, I think, was your phase two. So Lara's already done, and she was one of the last people we got to be ready for that. That's nice. Is Zhao in here? No. Still weird that his lucky cat is facing backwards. 
if I had a lucky cat, I would want to like look at it. Okay, there's a quest here at 9 a.m. Where is it? I don't know where the thing Dan was talking about like is. To be honest with you. Those fish are massive. Did you see those? You want to keep that sword? Otmar heard of antique blade for sale in capital. I'm not interested in any of those swords you told me about. This is me baby, and I'm keeping it forever. You'd better get to work, Otmar. Er, right away. Okay. Wow, you got a lot of gold. Hey Freya, I've been waiting for you. I've been trying to clean the rusty swords for hours, but the stains won't come off. Could you take a look at it for me? You probably need some like fancy chemical cleaning solution. Do you know how to clean those rusty parts on me blades? It'd be great if you're up to the task, matey. Give me a shout so when you've collected those materials, will you? I feel like I make her sound more like Scottish or Irish than I do like a pirate. Uh. Okay, give me, give me 10 of these just so we can try fishing at the new area. We, like, might as well. The dog is hungry. Oh my, I'm almost out. Not almost out. We have 16. We're running lower than usual on truffles. Where the heck is Dan? Is he, like, at his house? Is that where he is? Is this the closest teleporter? I don't know. There are no good teleporters for going to the south of town. Like, none. I wish there were a teleporter, like, right to town hall. Oh, hey. Hey. What are you doing? It'd be great to chat with you again, chemist. Would you like to go to the other side? No, I don't. I don't want to die. Okay, we can't do anything with Victor because we are not romancing him. I might be getting on in years, but age shall not wither my skills. Okay, we're working on your quest, apparently. How the heck do you trigger this Dan quest? I don't understand. Take me back up here, because this one's right next to the bulletin board. Okay, we started the Liano thing. Okay, I demand that all of you keep your hands off the cutlass that is displayed by Prime Rose Sale. The treasure is mine and mine alone. I will throw anyone. Okay, so it's it is by the ship. I don't know why we didn't see it though when we were like up there. Okay, whatever. Let's do the um the farmhouse thing first and then I guess we'll go back over to the ocean and See if we can miraculously trigger that. There you are, Freya. 
not again, Mercy. Just try this once, Garrett. It won't hurt. I'm so sorry for calling you here. It's about my husband, Garrett. I got a potion recipe from a distant cousin who said it could treat Garrett. I don't know if you should treat potion, uh, trust potions from non-professionals. Just, just saying. If I, a professional chemist, didn't think he could be treated, I feel like we should be listening to me. The recipe seems complicated. That's why you're here to help. Here's the recipe. My, my. Where did I put that recipe? I'm sure it was in my pocket. Please wait. Maybe I left it upstairs. It's an important thing to be losing. Did you swipe it? Look. I know what that woman wanted when she called you here. That woman. She kept searching for a way to get me up from this chair. I understand her intention, but it's just impossible. Things happened, and we can't turn back time because we want to. I wish she would just accept me for who I am now. But you also keep saying you can't accept that you're stuck in the chair, which is fair and valid. But if you can't accept it, what do you expect other people to do? So whatever she asks you to do, just do it. Oh, okay. I'll play along for now. Good on you for being willing to indulge your family members. Sorry for the wait. I left it in my drawer, silly me. Here's the recipe. I hope you can make it. After you're done, please come see me again. My husband and I would be very grateful. All right, turning back time. Do I need to speak to Garrett again? I wish I could turn back time. Or is this the Garrett quest? I hope Lara doesn't bother you while you're working. She's very outgoing and loves making new friends. Oh, Mercy is not at rank two yet. Dang. Is there anyone else not at rank two? Let's see. No, I think it might literally just be Mercy. That's so funny. Okay. Well, we'll get there. Now time to see if we can trigger this stupid Dan quest. I want to do the quest, but I don't know where the Cutlass is. They said Cutlass near the Primrose Sail. But I don't see anything. Nothing. And it's not like Dan is sick. Um, I'm so confused. Maybe it's like in here. Oh, it, okay. I'm done. Please, trade your legendary cutlass for me gold. Otmar only accept trades in materials. But he can use gold to buy more materials and treasure. You're being ridiculous, matey. Out of me way, ye foul landlubber. 
is very persistent. Were you hiding behind that door that whole time? And three sheets to the wind. Don't let him horn swoggle ye. You've got to remember not to trade it with anything other than the materials we need, Otmar. Those things can level up our fishing tools so that we can catch larger fish. Don't worry, Otmar remember well. Otmar was doing a good job. He was trying. Hey, Otmar. Legendary Cutlass? Well, not as legendary as Dan think, but... Leanna won't trade them for materials for fishing. If you want trade, talk to Otmar later. Mm, oh. They need so many things! 